administration announced January 4th will be the deadline for large businesses to have their workers vaccinated against COVID-19 or pay for weekly testing. Alexandra Limon has the story from Washington. It's not a mandate, that first and foremost, I think that's very clear. The Biden administration announced businesses with more than 100 employees and federal contractors have until January 4th to ensure their workers are fully vaccinated. It's really about creating a safe workplace for people. Secretary of Labor Marty Walsh says those who don't want to be vaccinated can be tested weekly instead, but those workers will also be mandated to wear masks inside the workplace. And healthcare workers will not have the option of testing. Walsh is pushing back against the criticism that this vaccine requirement could hurt businesses and the economy. COVID-19 has hurt business, uh, the, the spread of the virus has hurt business, uh, and what this does, this helps us prevent that from happening. In Alabama, we're having problems. Senator Tommy Tuberville says it's not that simple. He fears labor and supply chain shortages could get worse. We have 5,000 defense contractors. You just can't replace a, a rocket scientist if one doesn't take the vaccine. And Senator Mike Braun says the vaccine requirement is federal overreach. The most frightening ultimatum that businesses have had to contend with. About two dozen states are threatening to sue over this vaccine requirement, but the Biden administration is standing firm. We're pretty confident the administration clearly has the authority uh, to protect workers.